this whole video blog thing idea is killing me. Um, this is now attempt number six. I have no idea why I thought this would be a good idea. Um, because this is just really awkward and uncomfortable for me. Um, but I wanted to say hi. I wanted to say, you know, I am loving and wanted to say big thank you to everybody that's reading my um, blog and sharing it with people, which is, you know, really awesome. Um, you know, this week's been a bit, a bit shit, um, mainly because I've just been kind of fighting this whole um, head cold thing, weird, but anyway, so feeling a bit kind of crappy, which why would I choose to pull over on the side of the road while I'm waiting for a kid to get off the bus to do a video blog? I'm not entirely sure, but seemed like a good idea at the time. Really struggling to look at myself uh, in the, <laughs> in the, beautiful picture here um but look what i wanted to say today is really one thing i want to assure people that everything that i'm writing is not bullshit for as long as i can remember i have always had really odd weird shit happen to me all the time and what's really hard for me most days is that there's so much material there's so many things, weird things. You know, my car got towed yesterday while I was in the middle of a meeting about justice reinvestment because, you know, I did a radiator while driving a colleague and there was, I mean, it was just so mortifyingly embarrassing that there was just steam and shit coming out of the bonnet. Um, and you know, we had to get a taxi back. Like, that might happen to people every now and then, but it's this really weird phenomena, which I think eventually somebody's going to have to call it like the greenhouse effect or, you know, um, the shit happens to Mel effect or something because it just, it's not normal, you know? Um, but what I want to assure you of is that everything that I write is real and true and I have friends that will sign affidavits to, you know, legally swear to that. Um, there's no exaggeration happening. It's, it's just fair dinkum. And I think the best part of the whole blogging experience for me is that now I finally know what I want to be when I grow up. So that is super exciting. And that in itself gives me energy, even though it's week five or it's, I don't even know if it's week five. I wouldn't know. I know it's Friday and that's important because it means I get to, you know, get up and do it all again tomorrow, really. <laughs> it's just Saturday sport tomorrow. But I'm feeling a bit tired and I am feeling a bit vulnerable as well because it's Mother's Day this weekend and, um, you know, for those that have read some of the blogs that are a bit more serious and, you know, you'll know that, that, that it's a bittersweet day for me um you know I'll let the kids um you know think I'm okay with it um but there's part of me that you know is already dreading opening my eyes on that day um but the reality is it is just one day and I had my mum with me for many days um and for that you know I'm I'm really really grateful so, um, I had my hair done yesterday, um, that really helped lift the mood for, um, you know, a couple of hours, and what else happened this week that was exciting? Yeah, the car cost $500 to get fixed, and but I'm sitting in it now, so I'm coming to you live from my office. I mean, this is where I eat... <laughs> Sometimes I even sleep uh, while I wait for buses for, you know, debating and soccer and netball and all sorts of shit to finish. So look, I'm about to hit the five minute mark. I think this might be the one. This might be the one that I can legitimately post. So 
from my office to yours, wherever that may be, I'm going to sign off and quit while I think I might be ahead. But, um, you know, in the meantime, remember, we're all just trying to be good enough. And for anyone that thinks that's not enough, I'd say just cut them the fuck off. All right. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.